Hello my beautiful lights, how are you? I'm sorry it's been a few days. Um, I've been in deep introspection. I mean, I've basically, in this time, I've written a book, pretty much. It's page after page after page of stuff that we've got a journey through, for stuff that we've got to speak about and to grow our souls, right? It, this is like the great reset. It's like a reboot. You know when you restart your phone or you reboot a computer? That's the sort of collective effort we're going through right now we're nearing the end and in order to get our energy and our frequency back to the right vibration what's happening is we're clicking a reset button and it's resetting our whole frequency so apologies i haven't been here but at the same time i've been doing a lot of work on the other side so energy goes where energy flows and in fact i needed to flow my energy towards that frequency and that direction now we've got a lot to talk about but first off we're going to start with a couple of cards now i asked the angels what they wanted to speak to you about and i wasn't directed towards the tarot but i was directed towards the oracle cards today so we have 888 as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life, creating a place for abundance. I am abundant. How beautiful is that? So 888, if you see this number, then this message is for you. This is a collective message. Obviously, only ever take what resonates from these teachings, from these words, from these messages. So 888 is abundance of all forms, right? You see this number. You're focusing the wonderful things that surround you. So that is being in abundant form. That is sitting in a state of gratitude. That is being thankful for everything. You know, if you start your day, and I spoke to um, somebody yesterday literally about this situation. If you start your day with affirmations, wonderful. But if you haven't got time for those, what I want you to do in the morning is simply sit there, place your hands upon your heart and Think of three things, just three, three things you are grateful for. You've got a roof over your head, say. You've got food in your tummy. You know, you've got a beautiful family. You've got a wonderful dog. Whatever that might be, you are grateful for that vibration. That will shift your energy in about 30 seconds flat. It's quick as that. So you can go from this lack mentality that the 3D put into your vibrational frequency to feeling that abundance. Excuse me, I'm really in an awkward position. Excuse me, there we go. No, it's the chair squeaking, it's not me. <laughs> so, you know, it's about switching that vibration from the lack mentality in which you're programmed to feel, to think and everything in order to switch it into abundant form. When you sit at abundant frequency, abundant flows to you without effort. You really don't have to put that effort in. It's going to into that empress energy. When you go into this empress frequency, you are attracting, you do not chase. So this is abundance. This is basically what abundance is all about. You know, if a lot of spiritualist teachers or tarot readers haven't told you, it's about the vibration you hold within. Now, how you combat that situation and that energy, which is why the angels want to talk to you about this today, to change your frequency from lack to abundant form, is in fact sit in that vibrational frequency and hold it within your heart when you breathe life into your heart it is fundamentally important now this message came through it's basically creating the bridge to your higher vibration it's a new version of self so you're going from a lack mentality you're crossing that bridge over to your abundant form it's the new version of you. It's a better version of you. So when you think your old personality, your old things, when we talk about things falling away from your frequency, the old version of you, to release that is so very important. Your personality is going to change. You're going to feel elated in a different frequency and you're meant to. Now, if people in your past and situations and things do not vibrate at the same frequency, we've talked about them falling away and it's a bit at a time and it can hurt your heart, I absolutely get it. But if these people from your past do not understand that you are going through an energy upgrade, you're having a reset of frequency, and you're upgrading your frequency upon that ascension ladder that we've spoken about, then that is, that's them falling away. 
because they don't vibrate at the same frequency and that's the art of allowing because what the angels and God's source are telling you is these people are actually going to keep you tied to a lower frequency and when they tie you to a lower frequency then that isn't for you because you cannot step up that ascension ladder to your abundant form and this is why the angels want to speak to you about this today we also have a beautiful prayer from Archangel Michael about being gentle with yourself through this process and what is happening now is you matter you've got to work on you through this vibrational frequency you know I talk about self-care and everything like that I talk about you expanding your state of consciousness and the expansion of consciousness is the expansion of you and when you tune into this frequency when you allow the process and you expand to your best self then you understand the programming that has been put in your vibration for so long is then void it's void in your vibration you see the veil is lifted you see the bs that you once knew and this whole new avenue this whole new world opens up in front of your heart in front of your eyes in front of your existence and you understand what it's all about what this life is about you find your life purpose you start to feel abundant because you're following that frequency of heart and that is the switching vibration okay so let's do the prayer and then we'll come back to this because there's messages, more messages to go with this. And that's how they work and that's how we're going to flow. So uncross your legs for me, uncross your hands, say I accept and take this prayer deeply into your heart, okay? Be gentle with yourself. My prayer, Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle nurturing love in everything I think, speak and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so I can experience lasting inner peace. Now these two coincide in perfect synchronicity because when you find that state of inner peace through your introspection through your hermit bubble whatever you choose to call it when you meditate and you find that inner peace that puts you in abundant form you're opening up your heart frequency to a more abundant form so things can flow without effort and that's what you want the key is the path of least resistance when you journey down the path of least resistance you are journeying to your abundant frequency right if you do something and it takes no effort whatsoever you're just free flowing you your true self you're you and you're an open book to the world and you make no apology for it then that is the path of least resistance that is the effort of your soul and that brings in the abundant form in your mind body and spirit and your 3d world it's going from the darkness to light basically you know, we talk about money like it's the most important thing. It's not, but it is the key to live your best existence. We all need money in the three-dimensional um, living so we can travel, so we can experience God's world, right? That That's the part and parcel of it. We don't want to be sat in a room for the rest of our lives just making ends meet so we can pay the bills every month. We want to thrive. Why shouldn't we thrive? Absolutely should thrive. We should be in such an abundant form that we don't have to question if we can afford that shop. Now, I've been through every single section of that. I've been hungry. I've had lots of money. I've had no money. I have been like that. I have literally had to go through the frequency in order to teach this to you. And it's breaking free from the old constraints in which you thought. It's breaking free from the 3D existence and the BS in which you're fed in order to lead you to your abundant form. This is what it's all about. It's literally leading you to your best self, your best life, your best existence upon the 3D plane. And how you do that is you learn to play the game. When you learn to play the game, we've spoken about getting your ducks in a row. It's understanding what you have at the time is what you have. You have to sit in gratitude for it. And then it leads you to your abundant form. Do you see the switch in vibration? I was in a lack mentality for so long. I've been hungry. I've literally been hungry in this lifetime. I have had 2p in my account left in my overdraft in an order till the end of the month. And I'm like, well, how am I going to manage that? I've been there. I get it. I absolutely get it. And it's learning to sit with what you have. Okay. You have to, it's 
working out the programming is working out the puzzle pieces so in that effect if you have that what can you do with it and then it's utilizing your skill set in order to escape the path Okay, they escape the path in which they bound you to and you go off on the side and you think, oh, actually, I could do that and I could do that. The 3D programming is there to control you. They watch everything you do because they want that control over you. And it's breaking free from the mental mantle. You know, we're talking about manifestation. Now, what the angels clearly said to me. This was yesterday, we were talking about manifestation, I was in a deep introspective state and I've been like really going deep within, I mean fully deep within, facing shadows I've had, you know, stuff I thought I'd released and I hadn't and it's releasing that, it's releasing the old version of yourself so you can click reset and you've got, whoop, you've got an upgrade and that is it, okay, so... The thing is about manifestations. When we're in the art of manifestation, and the key to this is, if you tell everybody, it trains that manifestation. Now, if you hold something within your heart, then it comes into fruition, right? Um, <laughs> the thing is, the art of allowing is not just that, it's about our mentality and what we think we deserve. If we've had a childhood where we've been told that we're undeserving of something and it doesn't matter who by or what by, that is a frequency that sits and clings itself to your lower three chakras and this is how you have this image, you know, if you've had, say you've come from a very successful family and you compare yourself, well that's ridiculous because you're an individual, right? You're an individual but if that successful family are completely putting you down all the time, saying you can't do something or you fail at this and you fail at that, then that's going to sit in your vibration you need to release that people places and things you need to get rid of that vibration the problem lies with them and their opinion of you that is something they need to heal that is not your problem that is their problem they have a problem with that issue and how you get rid of that and how you combat that frequency is you sit in a place of gratitude you learn the lessons upon the path you get your ducks in a row and you think okay and you feel and you tune into your intuition and you get that information of how you can release yourself in a different frequency you sit in that form of abundance and abundance of all kinds and you feel that frequency and you are richer than you've ever felt and that is the key to this you have to release that old stuff and this is why this prayer came with it Michael came in and said he wants one from his deck we went from his deck and I follow universal energy as you're aware now Michael comes in when he uses his sword to release you from an old frequency an old state of mind when we feed this it's going to take over and it causes all this cloud energy you need to shift that you need to feed from here you need to know who you are you need to be awakened to who you truly are and the power you hold within the power you hold within is your source power and it is so abundant it's massive in fact you will shine like a beacon of energy when you sit in the right vibration and from the right vibrational frequency and that's exactly how it has to be now we can't do that 24 7 we can't it's impossible because we need to reserve some energy for us. We need that time to reflect. We need that introspection. We need that time to sit with ourselves and go within. And when we go deep, deep within, and I mean, when we're going within, guys, we are going to our darkest places and it's hard. It is so hard hard when we face parts of ourselves we don't particularly like we have to in order to release to get to that abundant form you know a lot of spiritualist teachers a lot of people don't talk about the darkness and the light right the darkness is hard it's tough it's so difficult to do but at the same time it's so rewarding if you can make that journey if you say to yourself you're going to work through that frequency and it's about the journey not the destination you're shedding and releasing that frequency, you are growing every time you face a shadow, every time you release fear from your vibration, you are growing to your best self, you are being abundant in all forms because you're releasing and you're knowing your worth, and when you know your worth, it ignites a part of you that you didn't even know existed, and when you release that, and you open that beacon up to the world, it's a beautiful thing, your energy is a beautiful thing, you matter 
matter. Your consciousness matters in the magnificence of the world frequency. We all play in to a mass consciousness. So if your frequency is at the wrong state, then we don't want that, do we? So we want you to do the work because we're opening this conscious state up for everybody. This is a world frequency. This is a collective consciousness. And working on you, leading you to abundant form is going to light you up like a beacon. And it's about the release of the old version of self in order for you to move forward, turn that page to your new chapter and let yourself out. You've been trapped for far too long. And that's what this is about. It's about going from lack to abundance, from darkness to light. And it's the journey through, just like the meditation I did for you the other week. It's the journey through. And this is, it all fits together in perfect synchronicity. Every single message is so very important. And I'm very passionate today because I can feel the energy rising through my body. It's just like a beacon. I am beaconing my energy across to you. So it ignites part of you to realise your worth, that you can do this. You can break free of old patterns. It is within you. You hold the power. You claim your power back if you want to do so go to my shorts I did a reel on claiming your power back you own your power nobody else the only way you gift your energy is if you feed a lower frequency with it if you allow that person to take that vibration. So you claim that back. You know who you are. You sit in your abundant form of light and you claim that power back. And if you want to connect with God, if that's your thing, absolutely. I have a great resonance with my angels, my spirit guides and God's source. You know, if that's how you feel the frequency, do it. Place your hands upon the earth. You know, Gaia, call in the earth energy and release the frequency. Your way is the right way. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And that's the thing. When people say, I need to put these cards down because I speak with my hands because I'm an energy worker. So which you just have to watch it. I'm sorry, but I feel like my arm's been cut off when I'm holding stuff. So when the power comes back to you, this is when you can take it within. Your power is held within your heart. This is your source power working on you heals your heart and this is what it's all about you working on you and healing this this is from people places and situations that have hurt you in the past but when you mentally take yourself to that vibration you are sending yourself to that vibrational frequency and you need to get rid of it because when we think about old patterns old thoughts old words we're taking ourselves energetically to there we don't want that anymore we don't want that so you need to release it fire ceremony perfect if you want to write things down, and this is really important, if you write it down in, uh, on a piece of paper and then you burn that, that is a release. You will feel by fire, especially, you know, there's lots of different things people can bury in the earth. It depends what resonates with you. Are you an earth sign? Prob probably you like burying in the earth. Are you a water sign? Perhaps you want to rip it up and, you know, make sure it is biodegradable, please, and throw it in the sea. You know, how do you feel? Air, let it blow away. It's up to you, if, as long as it's biodegradable, because I look after the planet. I am a big planet person. I, you know, I think it's our gift to honour our planet. I really do. So burn it. However you see fit is right for you. You will feel this energy. And this is going from lack to abundance, from darkness to light. Allow the process. So that is the message for the weekend. And it's very very important. Um, make sure that you acknowledge Archangel Michael, guide you through treating yourself with gentle ease. Allow. The art of allowing is hard because we're in a world of chaos, but the art of allowing is that release and surrender of heart. And it's allowing that frequency to flow. It's allowing that energy to flow. It is literally going with the flow of universal energies. And when you take that weight of the world off your blooming shoulders like everything is on you, that release and you lay it upon the angel's feet and ask them to take it is, well, it's like losing 12 and a half stone like I did. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's that switch in frequency. I am teaching you this because I have been in that vibration. I have been trapped in the low frequencies for so very long. My body and spirit, you know, my body was trapped there for years. And I was like, in my version of you know what? 
completely in this negative cycle, repeating negative patterns, feeling like my body was trapped, my mind was trapped, everything. I've released myself. I've literally done the work, which is why I teach it. You know, I am able to say that. I am proud to say that. I'm proud to say I'm a light worker. I'm proud to say I'm an energy master. I'm proud to say I'm a fitness instructor and meditation teacher. That doesn't make my ego glow. That just says I've done the blooming work. So when I've done the work, I can teach this because I'm teaching it because it's from heart. I really want to help people. It is my mission upon the earth to free you. It got cut off. <laughs> it's like my energy decided to make the whole thing blow up. But I'm doing this because I love. The capacity of love I hold is universal. It's overflow. I need to direct this frequency. I need to help release you. And that is what I'm here for. That is my sole mission upon this earth. And I am proud of that. I don't want you to have to go and journey through the dimensions I had to journey through to get here. So I am here to help release you, lift your consciousness to a higher state of being, you to find who you truly are, what your life's purpose is, ignite a part of you you didn't even know existed. That is my mission and that is who I am. So my name's Lauren, thank you for joining me. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. It's wonderful to have you. Um, I just wanna say a huge thank you to everybody who's been with me for the last year and a half. And my energy's changed, my journey's changed. I would never have one time got on camera like I do now, but I am who I am and it's that acceptance of self. So this is me, what's and all, right? So until next time, my beautiful lights, from the angels and I, from my heart to yours, lots of love. Bye-bye for now.